All right, here's today's update. Doesn't look like much has changed, but significant changes. Um, I was able to help Brian. We got this got the arm in. It's all installed. Cotter pin and all that. I gotta do a little touch up. Got the pin in to hold the shims. The hardest part was getting the shims in. Um, which Anyway, so you want to replicate the amount of the shims that you had originally, so we were able to duplicate that. I got the kit. Um, the hardest part was figuring out, do the back side first, then do the front side, and then what I ended up doing is I had there's two thin ones and a thick one and a medium one in this one. So I just got the thick and the medium in, and I just kind of tapped in the other ones. The hardest part is... There's the bolt that runs through, so the shims are actually slotted like that. So this slides up into the bolt, and this, there's a big giant pin that goes through, that goes through this slot on the bottom. So the shim sits up in here like that. So you have to drive these thinner guys in there. So that was a bit of a challenge, but... Um, Stepped back, looked at it, looked at a couple videos to see if I could pick anything up. My light here is terrible. Sorry about that. Um, so, yeah, that's where I'm at. So, hopefully, when Brian gets home from work, we can get the other side in. I have the bolt fed through, and I'll play with the shims tomorrow. Um, but that's the update for today. Not too much excitement. I kind of took it easy. My back was a little wretched from wrangling with this thing and figuring out how to get it up and in but now they kind of have a handle of what's going on the other side should be a little less painful um so yeah that's it for today or for this update at least hopefully maybe there'll be something later on later